Hi, today I want to show you uh, some tricks on how to create strong and memorable passwords. We obviously know that passwords are used everywhere uh, nowadays uh, with Facebook accounts, online banking, email, uh, you know, your computers. Passwords are everywhere. And so it's very important to have strong and good passwords uh, to obviously not get computer broken into, your home, uh, your bank account uh, information, and so on. But what are the problems? Well, problems I see every day is that people use simple and common passwords and they reuse the same passwords over and over and don't change them very often. Uh, reason being, people have a hard time remembering a good password, at least without a trick. So they fall back to using simple things, easy to remember, you know, don't need to think about it. You just type it in and away you go. Um, but that causes some potential very big security uh, problems. Another thing I see often is people will check off that remember me uh, when they go to log into websites like uh, Google and Facebook and Twitter and whatnot, especially on publicly available computers. And that's an issue because if you forget to actually log out when you leave that computer, the next person that goes to that computer uh, to that same site, let's say Gmail or Facebook or whatnot, can quickly and very easily sign in as you because you've left that information there uh, on the computer. So somebody can pretend they're you and change passwords on you, uh, change any of your information on there, obviously do a lot of damage by posting things or sending things that look like they're coming from you and for all intents and purposes according to the computer and the service is uh, it is you sending it because you're logged in as, as that user uh, so I uh, will caution people to be very careful about using that remember me uh, feature and to always remember to log out of websites when you leave the computer uh, you know that you're not still logged into Gmail or, or Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or you know your bank account uh, you know it can be a lot worse than just a Facebook account uh, and so uh, just be careful with that let's quickly take a look at some of the most common passwords. These are passwords that were uh, analyzed based on uh, uh, basically an extremely popular website uh, a few years ago that was broken into and all the passwords were exposed. Well, upon analyzing all these passwords, uh, this is basically the list of the 20 most common passwords that were in there and these are actually all in order. So that 123456 was the most common password on that website. So not just used by one or two people. Uh, so if you quickly scan that list, you're going to see, you know, very basic things like the actual word password. And I'm sure some people out there have used that before as a password. Uh, or I love you or princess or, uh, you know, just simple names in there. Monkey uh, is in there. I think there were some other names in there that I removed that were kind of a foul language. But, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're all just common passwords and you shouldn't use any of these that you're seeing here uh, as your password. And if you do, please go and change it right away. Uh, some other common passwords are people's, you know, child's names, their pet's names, or their pet's name or child's name with, you know, a date of birth attached to it, or just a simple number. So if you had a dog named uh, Fluffy, you might have a password called Fluffy1, uh, or your license plate number, or just a common word found in the dictionary. Uh, these are all things that you should not use. Why? Because anybody who sort of knows you uh, can guess these passwords, uh, or even people that might not know you but have access to some limited information, maybe your Facebook account, because uh, you're friends with them on Facebook and sees you have a dog named Fluffy, could in theory, you know, go and guess that maybe your password is Fluffy or Fluffy1 uh, as your password for Facebook, or, you know, Gmail or another account uh, in there. So uh, I wouldn't use any of those. So you might say now, well, okay, what are the tricks? Well, some of these are tricks and some of them are common sense. First off, don't give your password out to anyone. As silly as that might sound, don't. People do it all the time. They give it out to people they think they trust. Uh, and who knows in you know a week from now, a year from now, uh, whether or not that's still going to be the case. Uh, and you might have forgotten that you gave them access you know, to a certain account or you gave them a password that you might reuse that same password on other services as well. So just don't give out your password. A password should be between you and yourself. Um, think of a silly phrase. Uh, 
um, and that'll help you remember your password. Use things with uppercase and lowercase letters. Use a mix of numbers in there and some special characters and try to keep your, your password to a minimum of eight characters. Again, don't share your password. Uh, and don't save your password or passwords in a file called password uh, or even in a file period on your computer uh, or even posting it on a sticky note that's then stuck on your computer monitor. Uh, you might as well just not have a password because anybody sitting in front of your computer can, can guess this uh, or doesn't even have to guess, I should say they can just see the password on, on the screen. So how do you remember a password? Well, this comes back to that silly phrase, right? So if you think of a silly phrase, something like, my dog has four paws. Silly. Easy to remember though, right? Who can't remember my dog has four paws? Uh, again, don't use this as your own password. This is just an example. But if you take this, my dog has four paws, and you convert that into some no, uh, letters and numbers based on that, right? You have my dog has four paws and why not just add the special characters to do a smiley face right maybe you're happy because your dog has four four paws right so now you've created a password that looks random okay but in reality isn't because all you have to remember is my dog has four paws and maybe the fact that you have a smiley face at the end of that but you have a strong password or fairly strong password that's easy to remember and you're going to say well do i use that same password on all my websites you can what i say is take it to that next step though instead of saying using that exact same password on all the websites append the website name to the beginning and end of that password's website. So you're using that same password for Facebook, but append Facebook to the beginning and end of that password for the Facebook password. And maybe the Twitter, same thing. And your Google account, or maybe a YouTube, or maybe you're just going to put, you know, FB at the end for Facebook, and Twitter is going to start with TW or end with TW or whatever it may be, right? But these are easy ways of, again, creating what looks like random passwords for each website that are easy for you to remember. And one further step that you should do is actually test it out to see if it works uh, properly. So what can we do? Well, let me just copy this one. And let's say you go to uh, the website uh, passwordmeter.com. Let me go to it right now. Okay. This website just basically gives you... Um, that tells you a percentage of what it thinks if, if your website if your password is strong or not and so you can type in you know let me just type in hello and you'll notice that hello is not a very s strong score right four percent score it's actually very weak but let me just paste in that Facebook one that we had you'll notice it's got a pretty strong rating 100% actually in this case here why because it uses a whole bunch of different things right uppercase lowercase numbers special characters it's over eight characters in length and and so on you can actually see where you know you've going down or up in terms of scores and so you can use this service uh, which is completely free you don't have to sign up for anything at all just go to the website and try your password and see if it uh, if it's a pretty good one Hopefully this uh, helps people out and you've learned something and uh, I'm sure a few of you are, are going to go now and change a few of your passwords. Take care.